This is Seisha, the African thrifter. On this channel, I share with you my thrifting and fashion reselling journey with an African twist. I grew up in Africa, surrounded by open spaces, vibrant colors, and an eclectic fashion sense. All of this still influences my personal style and my fashion finds. So come along for the journey as I share with you my thread finds and brands that are selling great for me. If the full moon loves you, why worry about the stars? This simply means God loves you much more than you will ever imagine. Why worry about what anybody else says? Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Seisha. I am so excited to bring this video to you. I've been selling on Poshmark for four years now and I'm going to share with you my highest grossing sales. I've sold over 2,000 items in the four years, actually coming up to almost 2,300 items sold. So without further ado, let's get into those sales. I'm actually going to start from the top instead of going from bottom up. First up is this pair of fry boots. I picked this up from a thrift store. I believe I paid $15 for them. I knew they would sell well because of the style and of course the brand. So I made a good profit on this. They sold for $175. And of course Poshmark takes 20% 20, 20 off of every item that I'm going to show you. Next up is this pair of Ag by Mitchell. I actually picked this up in Sydney, Australia when I went on vacation right before everything started to shut down. I visited Sydney in 2019 and I picked up several pairs of Ag boots. Now, I didn't realize that these are not Ag Australian proper. These are Ag Australian collection, but I just loved the style and I'm glad I did pick them up. I did pay up for them, but they did sell for $162. I did pick up a few pairs as you can see so all of them are sold out by now this is another pair of ag boots that i picked up in australia this is ag australian shepherd and these are the short ones the short boots i picked up several pairs of these and they are all sold out by now Next is this pair of fry boots. This time it's a men's pair. I bought this from a Plato's closet in my neighborhood and these boots sold in a very short period of time. I paid $30 for these and as you can see they sold for $150. These Salvatore Ferragamo men's boots sold, also sold very quickly. I believe I bought this from a local Goodwill store on Dollar Sunday. Our Goodwill has two colors of the week that go for a dollar on Sunday. So I picked these up and they also sold very fast. I'm thinking about two weeks or so, which is pretty fast for a $150 sale. So this was a great pickup. I was excited about this sale. Next are these Sorel boots. I did pay up for these. I believe this was right before Christmas. 
I picked these up with another pair of Sorel boots that did not sell and I ended up returning them. I believe I picked these up from Marshalls for $60 or around there and they sold for $145. I thought I would get a little bit more but nonetheless they did sell pretty quick. Here is an exciting sell. This vintage bag was brought to me by my husband. He picked it up by the roadside. Somebody had thrown it out and he wasn't sure if I'd be able to use it. I was able to clean it up. It is a Dooney and Burke vintage bag. It's actually a backpack made in the USA. So this cost me zero dollars except for a little bit of elbow grease. I cleaned it up and it sold for a hundred and forty dollars. This Anushka handbag is so beautiful. I actually bought it for myself but then I, I knew I wouldn't use it that much. I picked it up at a yard sale for $10 and it sold for $120. Look at the beautiful butterflies on this. Actually, I had never heard of this brand and I picked this bag up just based on style. But when I did some research and realized that it's worth a lot, I decided to sell it. I have so many handbags. I know I'm not gonna miss this. So that is the brand right there. Up next is this vintage Laura Ashley dress. It is so beautiful. I don't even remember where I picked this up, but I believe it wasn't for that much. That's the brand logo there, made in the USA. The person who bought it was so excited to have it. She said she was gonna wear it to Disney as soon as Disney reopened, after everything shut down. So that was a very nice sell. I made at least, um, at least $90 on this. Next up is a bag, actually a suitcase by Brito. Brito is an artist that makes all these colorful items. Another bag that was thrown away by somebody in our neighborhood. My husband brought it to me, I cleaned it up and it sold for $104. Another suitcase, this time by Vince Camuto. I actually bought this for myself when I was doing all my travels. I bought two of these, one for myself and one to resell. And this suitcase sold very fast for a hundred dollars. I believe I paid forty dollars for this. Kate Spade shoes are the next item. I picked these up from Ross during one of their sales for twenty-four dollars, and they did not sell fast, and which was really surprising for me but I believe it's because of the size. It's a size six, which is pretty small. And I know not many people wear this size, but it eventually did sell for a hundred dollars. And I paid $24 for this one. Up next is the brand Icebug. 
this winter boot sold in about a week for me which is very fast but I bought this for $12 or so at the local thrift store it was in the middle of winter and I knew it would sell quickly after I did my research so that was a good sell as you can see there's another pair of Ag Australian Shepherd that sold for a hundred dollars I won't say much about that because we already saw another of those true religion jeans this was a brand new pair of jeans it sat for a while I picked this up at a thrift store for about eight dollars if I remember correctly it sat for a while true religion sells for me but it does sit for a while but I was glad to be able to sell it for a hundred dollars here is a big makeup case by the brand unique this is another item that my husband picked up in the neighborhood and brought it to me I love it when he brings this all these items to me and I am able to clean them up and sell this is actually a big one and I was gonna keep it for myself but I figured I don't need to have that much makeup for myself so I sold it another Ag Australian Shepherd lucky brand I picked this up from a local thrift store believing they would be good enough to sell for a good price they sat for me for a few months but they eventually did sell I picked them up basically based on style and it paid off I made a good profit on this And here is another Kate Spade. This one is a mini dome bag, shoulder bag, or it can be worn as a cross body bag. I sourced this from Ross during one of their sales. Now this sat for over a year, but it eventually sold. Gretchen Scott is the next brand this beautiful dress was brand new with tags and I must have picked this up actually I do remember I picked this up at Salvation Army I had two dresses of by the same brand different colors and this one sold for a hundred dollars I picked this up for ten dollars One more exciting sell. This was a find from the bins. I found Gucci at the bins for the first time and I sold this pair within 10 hours of listing, I believe. I mean, it sold fast for a hundred dollars. It was in fair condition but somebody really wanted it so they got it Swedish husbands I don't know how to pronounce this properly but you can see the brand name there this pair of wedge boots was so pretty I had to pick this up and when I did some research I found that it sells pretty well and as you can see, there's the brand name. I paid $12 or so for this and it sold for $100. And as you can see, 
I have more of the Kate Spade items. Here is another pair of the flat shoes and another pair and another bag. So I had a few of these. So there you have it. Those are my top sales, my all time top sales on Poshmark. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Seisha. Please don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Hit that notification bell so that you are alerted every time I post a video. And also please share this video if you like. Bye for now and see you in the next one.